So with some better examples, now let's um, talk briefly about uh, some concepts such as OCV, open circuit voltage, specific capacity, and specific energy. Open circuit voltage, as what we mentioned before, is quite often the voltage that you would measure when the circuit is open, when the a negative electrode and the uh, positive electrode are not connected through an external circuit. And if there's no internal shorting and there's no leakage between the negative electrode and the positive electrode through the electrolyte, then the open circuit voltage would be approximately the same as equilibrium cell potential. Equilibrium cell potential. Okay? And then specific capacity, I see. It that means the charge stored for an electrode reaction or for an electrochemical cell. It can be either for an electrode or for an electrochemical cell, but let's say it's for an electrode. And then the specific capacity, I see for specific capacity theory means uh, theoretically the number would be NF divided by sigma i of xi mi, i for different species. Okay, and it would have the unit of column per gram, or sometimes people use milliamp per hour, times hour per gram, or amp hour per gram. Okay, uh, remember, one amp hour would be one amp times one second times 3600, which is 3600 column. Okay, and the specific uh, capacitance in theory, we said n would be the number of electrons transferred in that electrode or half cell reaction, or for the overall reaction if you, we talk about full cell. And then f, as would be uh, remembered, it would be Faraday constant, 96,485 uh, column per mole. Okay. And xi would be the stoichiometry coefficient for species i in the half cell or the full cell reaction. And the mi would be the molar mass for species i in the half cell or full cell reaction. And you have to add because there may be more than one species in the half cell or full cell reaction. This gives us the theoretical one. Theoretical capacity. But then to get the actual specific capacity, you have to consider that are in within the battery there are non-active but necessary components such as the electrolyte. Remember electrolyte should not go through an electrochemical reaction much. Okay. Especially for a system like lithium ion batteries and the current collector, the, the component that you use, like copper foil, aluminum foil in lithium-ion battery, that you use to collect the current and the con connect to the external circuit. But in terms of the actual electrochemical reaction, those aluminum copper do not participate in lithium-ion battery uh, reaction. So uh, current collector, electrolytes, especially supporting species, and as well as packaging, you need to put the battery inside a protective casing. And all those contribute mass, but not really to capacity. So as a result, the actual specific capacity is much lower than theoretical one due to all those extra components. But over time, smarter engineering uh, managed to de gradually improve the uh, specific capacity without changing big in chemistry. Okay, and then a related concept would be called specific energy, SE. That is energy stored for an electrode, especially chemical energy stored for an electrode on an electrochemical cell. And that is given by specific capacity times open circuit voltage, times open circuit voltage, which under no leak condition would just be the equilibrium uh, cell potential. The capacity, capacity times open circuit voltage. Remember, uh, capac capacity times open circuit voltage. Q times V, that gives us the unit of draw or work. 
okay and we can um, put the numbers in here and typically it will be in the unit of joule per gram um, joule per watt hour per gram or milliamp hour per gram 